there, Improv Tipsers. Welcome back to Improv Tips, where I and some of the best improvisers in the world give you improv tips and advice to make you a better, more confident, and happier improviser wherever you are in your improv journey. I am, as always, your host, Paul Valancourt. Let's begin. Today's guest tipper is Joe Bill. That's it. I'm done. I mean, he doesn't need an introduction. He's been around for a million years and done a million things. I'll, I'll hit some of the highlights for those of you that have been improvising under a rock. He is the one of the co-founders of the Annoyance Theater, along with this guy, Ding Ding McNapier. And uh, he taught there for over 12 years, uh, directing 60 plus shows. He's all, He was also the uh, the corporate training director at uh, IO in Chicago. He was a guest artist in residence at Second City in Chicago. He's taught on every continent in the world, except for Antarctica. And I hear there are some seals in negotiations with him to come down and do a little workshop with them. I will let you know how that plays out. He is also maybe most known as being half of the fantastic legendary improv duo, Bass Pro, right? He's done it all. He's been everywhere and he's done it all. And he's going to share a tip with you today. I really love this tip because I'll just say this, man. Being an artist of any kind and an improviser in particular, this is my experience, is hard sometimes. And I think this tip is really going to help you out, really going to make a difference. I heard it and I was like, yeah, you're really on to something. Not surprising. I also love this tip because he name checks some of my favorite guest improv tippers. Susan Messing, ding, ding. Jill Bernard. Ding, ding. Mike Coleman. Ding, ding. I'll link them here so I don't have to link them later and interrupt his fantastic improv tip. If you're enjoying the improv tips, please consider uh, liking, leaving a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this improv tip or any of the improv tips. Let's make it a resource for everybody. And if you want to get the improv tips as they come out, consider subscribing. That button as well is down below. But right now, without any further ado, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy. Joe Bill. Hello, improv tipsters. Joe Bill here. Uh, with an improv tip. Uh, thanks, Paul, for inviting me to do this. Uh, for this one, I would just like to invite you to stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing your progress to other people. Stop measuring your funniness, your acting skills, your level of commitment, your success. Stop measuring yourself against other people. All you need to do is be who you are. And even though it's a tired old improv saying you are enough, you are, you're enough. Because you're gonna be you for the rest of your life and that's the only you that you can be. The better attitude you have, the better you're going to be able to support others. The better attitude you have, the more supportive of others you are, the more people are going to enjoy playing with you. And to borrow from Jill Bernard, um, if you are just interested in growing yourself, what happens along the way is you play with a lot of different people and you borrow pieces of their brain. And I've been doing improv for over 40 years and there's little pieces of about 100 di different improvisers' brains in my brain. And I find myself in moments when I'm playing, having those little puffs pop into me and, uh, and I have a moment that's a Dave Pasquese moment. I have a moment that's a Susan Messing moment. Uh, I have a moment that's a Mike Coleman moment uh, or an Ed Furman moment. The, it's, it's limitless. And the other thing is, and especially if you're out on the West Coast, um, I think sometimes we become jealous or put off when other people have success. But if you can look inside yourself and really feel happy for your friends and colleagues that you know and meet in your improv journey, um, if you can feel good about their success, then ultimately you're going to open up your heart and your mind to being present with other people uh, and see how you can support them uh, and how you can um, you know, be in celebration when you improvise because improvisation is a service industry and it is a celebration of uh, artistic friendship. So that's my tip. Be you. Quit measuring yourself by other people. Good luck. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.